we launched the Tasty Pastry. It's a low carb Pop Tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs, and we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. Welcome back to Legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Thursday, September 15th, 2022. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Sometimes it's funny how the difference between perception and reality works. Because I'm guessing that if you asked most 212 fans which athlete was going to have the hardest time sucking down to make weight this year, the resounding answer would be Derek Lunsford. But here's the thing, in the pictures that we're showing you right now, Kamal Algarni is weighing somewhere just north of 230, which is crazy because it looks like he could be stage ready at a moment's notice. It feels like the perception from most fans is that Derek is on another level and that he's just going to outmuscle everyone in this year's lineup. But the truth of the matter is that Kamal's right there in that same boat. He might be 52 years old, but he's as dangerous as ever. And the possibility of him winning his title back feels like it's getting more and more real the closer we get. If you caught our Recap Wednesday show yesterday, then you saw Vlad Soroko became the latest member of the club to qualify for this year's Open Olympia. And that raises a few important questions, including whether or not he's still planning to compete at the Arnold UK next weekend. For the last few weeks, we've been talking about how deep the lineup in the Men's Open should be here. And Vlad's presence was a big part of that equation. But now that he doesn't need the points or a win to qualify, there's some speculation floating around that he might decide to pull out so that he can focus all his efforts on prepping for the Olympia. And at this point, that does feel like a possibility because we saw Hassan Mustafa do the same thing a few weeks back. Vlad is another one of those guys who falls into the super duper X Factor territory because we don't know what his ceiling is right now. But if he does decide to go through with this prep for the Arnold, we should have a better sense by the end of next weekend because that lineup would be his biggest test yet. If there was anything out there who didn't take if there was anyone out there who didn't take Brett Wilkin as a serious threat to win the Romania Pro when he made his announcement last week. I'm guessing they're probably thinking about changing their mind now because he let off one of the biggest warning shots last weekend at the NPC Louisiana Open. Until recently, Brett had largely kept things under wraps while he was transitioning in and out of his mini mid-season improvement phase. But at this point, the cat's out of the bag and there's no hiding the fact that he's putting himself in position to make a strong run down the home stretch of the season. He started the year up with sky-high expectations heading into the Arnold Classic. And even though things have cooled off a little since then, the truth of the matter is that he's better now than he was then. So if he's at his best in Romania, all bets are off because he's absolutely going to be a threat to bring home the victory. If you were lucky enough to be in the building last weekend for the NPC High Roller Royale, you would have walked out of the night show feeling like it was some of the best money you ever spent. Because seeing this version of Quentin Aria in person was absolutely worth the price of admission. Quentin looks so insane here that it's like he almost fell into some of that green slime that turned the Ninja Turtles into superheroes. Because his lines and proportions are like something straight out of a comic book. There are a handful of people who have gone on the record to say that they see him as someone who could potentially win an Olympia title someday. And when you see him look like this, it isn't hard to understand why. He's got a wow factor to him that only a handful of people have. And if he keeps going at this rate, it seems like it's only a matter of time before he goes from being a hypothetical contender into someone who could legitimately be ready to take the torch and run with it. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions. And make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.